So the reason I'm here in New York City as part of Twilio After Hours is because diversity and inclusion are one of the most important things that we're focused on as a company. Uh, having a diverse set of individuals who bring a diverse set of ideas into work every day allows us to be super competitive for our customers as well as for the communities that we serve. When we released our diversity data for the first time in Twilio's history, we were at 31% women. We have a 2023 goal to have 50% women globally across the entire company. So Twilio After Hours is all about bringing the community in and building relationships with people that are underrepresented in the tech industry. Twilio is very committed to both diversity and inclusion, and I actually put them in the opposite order. So the first thing we want to do is have a, an inclusive environment, and that's very important. So we put a lot of effort at, into those initiatives. Make sure that people feel that they belong at Twilio, that they're comfortable, and that they walk into an environment that they enjoy every day. I decided to plan Twilio After Hours because for me it was a really unusual and great opportunity to go ahead and just uh, start celebrating the things that we don't normally talk about in our industry. So diversity, inclusion, uh, lack of representation, intersectionality, those kinds of things that we all know are there but really um, don't give a voice to. And I had an opportunity with Twilio After Hours to give that voice to some people who could really use it. Twilio After Hours is so much fun, it's very energetic, very uplifting, I'm so happy to have been part of it. What I thought about Twilio After Hours was it really exceeded my expectations. I was not expecting it to be as interactive, and so I totally come to another Twilio After Hours event. 